Sure. So, uh, but that's but, it. But here's so, the thing. Here's the thing is that uh, with Bitcoin, you don't really have to trust what anyone says about Bitcoin. You can go and verify how Bitcoin works. If you know how to read code, you can go and verify exactly. You don't have to trust anybody. You don't have to trust anybody that talks about Bitcoin on YouTube or anything. You just go read the code and you'll understand that the, the every four years there's a happening event and you, you understand all these details, right? So when you're talking about thousands of years of gold, we have a verifiable output of Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't, there's no trust, right? There's trust in gold. But like you said, we have thousands of years of of discovering gold in the ground creating technologies to make it easier to get gold things like that yeah so so we have a thousand year history with gold we don't have that with bitcoin but you can go and verify how it works and so that's why i i don't i don't necessarily think we need thousands of years of bitcoin for it to be some sort of value no not about some sort of value but to to i guess uh, make, make an assessment of like the predictions of its value with with a model yeah just because we know what the driver of value like uh interpretation or you know perception is it's people it's humans human yeah. beings so yeah of course bitcoin being it's like a micro asset in the in comparison to something like gold you need less actors like actually actively participating in this whole value perception ecosystem right because mm -hmm. it, it's less liquidity required in order for the price fluctuations to occur right so it's true 